What's up YouTube? Uh, welcome to 2019. Uh, today I'm going to go over a video that I've been talking about for a while and I think is probably the most requested video and I'm going to be talking about pumps. Um, so these are probably the more common pumps that I would use. Um, they're dirty water pumps. You can use clean water pumps but they're more likely to wear out. So if you can get a hold of the dirty water versions, they're a little bit more robust to the abrasives and the media. Um, so they're a better option than anything else. You can make do with other things. So for example, this one here comes from my video uh, that I did on the dishwasher build. So this is actually just a dishwasher pump and I was able to make that work successfully. These two pumps here are actually the scavenge pumps out of uh, washing machines. Uh, they're not as good, but if you're in a bind and you do need something uh, to, to get a, a machine working, you can use those. They're not great. They take a bit of fiddling around, but they will work. Um, but today I want to go over the setup of the pumps I'm more likely to use, uh, which is these ones here. There are two general types. They come in all different sizes, uh, different power ratios, um, and the configurations of them differ. So um, these are my preferred type. As you can see on this one here, the outlet comes out and up, and it just makes the plumbing a little more difficult. You can make them work, that's not a problem, uh, but if you have the option, I think the side exit ones like this are actually better. Um, so I just want to quickly go over, if the camera will come in, uh, just a couple of things to think about when you're setting them up. So once you've got it sitting in your reservoir, where all your media and your water sits, there are a couple of considerations to take into account. First of all is where the media is going to sit in, in the reservoir as a level. If it's too high, it can actually foul on the pump and can cause pump issues. So if you make sure that there's only water around the pump impeller and the media sits below it, when the machine is in idle and, the, and all the media returns to the bottom through gravity, it'll just sit there and it'll make sure your pump impeller is clear. And then once you start it up, it'll agitate the media and then start pumping. Uh, as you can see on the side here, I've just reduced down, I think it's about a 40mm, comes down to 15mm or a half inch. Then on the bottom I've got one size nozzle, so that starts the circulation running in the reservoir. And then on the other side I've got the outlet that goes up to the handpiece, which is slightly smaller. So depending on what size handpiece and nozzle you're using, depending on your plumbing, the shape of your reservoir, uh, this will actually change um, also your pump power and, and the flow rate of your pump. So you have to mess around with these to try and get your ratio right. So that out of the bottom, that'll cause your agitation as all the, the uh, water is being pumped back into the reservoir and into the, uh, the media. That'll agitate it and that'll continue to circulate back through the pump and then some of that will tee off and come up to your handpiece. So you can see in here there's another thing to uh, work out with your reservoirs. If we just get the camera right over top of this so you can see in there. Right in the corners here, if you've got your water circulating and it's blowing everything up into the corners, what you'll end up with is just a little bit on the inside here that will agitate and run through the pump. Now the problem with that is it'll continue to run through your handpiece and onto your parts that you're blasting while a lot of the media will just build up along the sides and sit there. The issue caused by this is that the smaller amount of media running through the agitated part of the reservoir will continue back and forward through the circuit, through the handpiece onto your part and will deteriorate really quickly and you'll end up throwing out all that media to replace with new stuff even though half of the media is still good inside your reservoir. So you have to make sure when you're setting it up the agitation and the, and the jet that comes back of water into the reservoir actually stirs the entire area. So you can offset it to certain sides depending on the shape of your reservoir that'll change what you have to do about that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in that and run that pump just so you can kind of see how it agitates. Uh, I'll try not to stir too much up as I'm pouring it in. Just to make sure there's plenty there to fill up the pump. And a little bit of excess because once it starts running through your handpiece and into your cabinet, you're going to end up with a decreasing volume in the reservoir and your pump can run dry. So let's just see how that runs. So as you can see there, that started lifting up the inlet jet there, causing a massive build up in the back of the reservoir of media, just as I mentioned, that isn't going to agitate properly. So if I just hold that down until a different angle, and now you can see on the edges, how you're getting a nice flow right up on the edges, and that's going to cause all that media to recirculate properly and then come up through your pump. And on the pump setup, this would usually go up to your handpiece. 
So you've got half of your direction going through and stirring up the media and then the other half goes up to your handpiece. So that's the basic setup on things. No doubt you're going to have uh, a few more questions. Um, anything that you do want to know, if you just put into the comments section, I'll see what I can do to answer them. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on these because that is sort of a more emergency situation if you can't get your hands on a decent pump. Um, but I'll probably do a video a little bit later on what you do to set these up and get them to work. Um, as I mentioned, these ones are a little bit better. That's why I decided to use it in the dishwasher, not just the fact that it was there. Uh, these are more ideal. Um, I'll do a bit of a video specifically on each pump, I guess, and, and what will wear out in them. Um, ways to get around certain things that you'll, you'll encounter and types of pump and pallets to look for if you're looking to do something a little bit more commercial. It's not so much a problem if you're just doing it in your home shop and you don't use it that much, but if your cabinet gets a lot of use, then using these kind of pumps, there are certain things to look for to make sure that you'll get a little bit of extra life out of them. Um, so yeah, as I say, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see what I can get to and, and answer. Um, any requests for videos, let me know, I'll do that. And I've also got another video coming up on the wiper systems for the different cabinets. Uh, I have been promising that one for a while, so I'll try and get to that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so yeah, cheers. So I managed to get through the pump video a little faster than I thought I was going to. So I thought I'd throw in a little bit of bonus material. So what I've got here is just the uh, small scavenge pump off a washing machine, clothes washing machine. And um, I'm anticipating a few people querying whether these are actually enough to agitate and, and pump media. Um, so depending on your setup, you may get away with just one, you may need two. Um, but you can make them work. So I just want to quickly fire in some of this old test media that came out of one of my other cabinets. Uh, I'll chuck it in the in the reservoir there and um, I'll just show you the ability of it to agitate. So I'll try not to put too much of it in suspension. Now that's in there and I'll just run the pump and uh, we'll see how the agitation works. So you can see not as much as the uh, dishwashing pump, but it is working and if I just quickly scoop my hand in there, you can see some of the particles, uh, the glass media that's in there, I can definitely feel that on my hand. Um, so these little pumps, they will work, uh, excuse the wiring, it's actually off my other cabinet, I just throw it in there because it's all set up ready to go with the foot switch on it, so uh, made it easier for the video. But as you can see there, it is actually agitating, you can see the white coming up. Um, it doesn't take much to agitate on a, a reservoir this big, um, so it all depends on your setup, but you can make them work. So um, if you are trying a, a junkyard build, that'll be plenty. Um, it's not the best, but it'll get your system to work. But um, I tend to focus on this type of pump. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the bonus material. Uh, leave your queries, questions in the comment section. Um, and... Uh, Hopefully this gives you some ideas.